Welcome to a quest for metal. Now a subscriber on my channel by the name of Snaggletooth asked me this question, you know, months and months ago, and I've only just gotten around to it, but I thought it was a fun one, and it's been in the books for a while. So, we're going to be talking about some video games that correspond with a certain band. So what bands, what metal bands specifically, make you think of a video game, and what video games make you think of a metal band? Now I want you guys to play along at home and pop down in the comments below what metal bands instantly click into your head as soon as you play Skyrim, Call of Duty, Bloodborne, Elden Ring, Sonic, whatever, whatever your flavour of game. Let me know what metal band you think pairs best with it. Just like peanut butter and jelly. It's, it's video games and metal. Now I'm not talking about soundtracks such as Brutal Legend or anything like that. That's a separate video I've already done. This is just a bit of fun. So, let's get started with my list. Now, these aren't, you know, they're not perfect. It's just what I think of when we talk about these games or bands. So let's start with Five Finger Death Punch, the band that everyone loves. Who who doesn't want to start with Five Finger Death Punch? They've got new music coming out. I'm not a, I'm not a full on hater of them. I did a ranking on my channel, listened to all the material, some good stuff, some not so good stuff, but what do they all have in common? They all sound pretty similar. They all have a similar flavour, and they're all about war, you know? It's all about that fucking cocking the gun. I don't have a gun. I'm in England. We don't have guns. Is that, is that how you cock a gun? I don't know. Anyway, it's all about the pew pew, pew pew, Mandalorian style, and you know it's going to be Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty, Five Finger Death Punch. They go hand in hand. The war themes there, there's a fucking album, they all sound the fucking same, all the Call of Duty games are pretty much the same, I know you have advanced warfare, and fucking, like, you get, ooh, you get a, you get a jetpack, ooh, it doesn't really do much, the core gameplay is still the fucking same, doesn't matter what you sprinkle on it, still the same, and every single Five Finger Death Punch album pretty much sounds the goddamn same to me, I like them all, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate, um, I still enjoy all of them, I don't hate the band, but it's still it's pretty similar. So Call of Duty and Five Finger Death Punch. There we go. Hidden it off strong. Next up, for something a bit stranger. One of my favourite games of all time, Bloodborne. What's going to go with Bloodborne? If you're thinking Tomb Mold, you're wrong. Sure, they are a band named after an item in Bloodborne. So you'd think I'd be like right at home picking Tomb Mold, but no, the sound of it doesn't really fit with me for Bloodborne. So I'm gonna go with a mix of two different bands mixed together. The first one being the Great Old Ones, which is a, a cosmic black metal album, which works within the context of Bloodborne because there's all that cosmic stuff, the moon presence, all the alien stuff. And the Great Old Ones, the name of the band, all about this kind of Lovecraftian theme, which is exactly what Bloodborne's about. So it fits way more perfectly. But I'm also gonna throw a curveball in and say Cradle of Filth, because they're a black metal band from England, first of all. You know, they've got the top hats and shit, Milady, which works with a Victorian era gothic kind of stuff. And they're a gothic kind of band. They have songs like Gothic Romance. The lyrics are poetry. That are evil, but in this kind of like gothic Victorian England kind of way, and that pairs perfectly with the cosmic stuff. So this is two bands for one. You, you I mean you have Bloodborne, which is two halves of a game, pretty much the crazy alien shit, and then the Victorian shit. So Cradle of Filth and the Great Old Ones, boom. Next up we have Doom. Doom, the game Doom, which is all about just running fast, blasting aliens' heads off. The metal music is playing. I mean, it pretty much has a metal soundtrack anyway. I mean, that that pumps you right up, blasting an alien's brains out of its butthole. Yes. What music is going to go with Doom? There's a couple of bands I could have picked. I really wanted to put... If I was going to do albums, I really could have put uh, Pleasure to Kill here. Because, <laughs> oh boy. Now, that's some crazy... Even the album cover looks like Doom, doesn't it? But we're going with Slayer. Of course it's Slayer. Slayer, Doom, Doom Slayer, literally called Doom Slayer. How am I not picking fucking Slayer? It's gotta be Slayer. It's fast, aggressive, in your face, bloody as all hell, it's entertaining as hell, and it's Slayer. It's Slayer. Why wouldn't it be Slayer? Fucking Slayer. Next up, a bit of a weird one, we go with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. 
the pirate one. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with Running Wild. That's right. The pirate band with the pirate game. Who would have funked it? I could have gone with Ailstorm. But a bit more goofy, a bit more on the fun side. Whereas Running Wild's a bit more serious. And Black, Flag's, Black, Black Flag is a more serious game. So I think it pairs well with Running Wild. And I will do a... I'll do a ranking for Running Wild once I've properly sunk my teeth into them, because I'm not just going to do it willy-nilly. So yeah, look forward to that soon. Next up we have Tool, the band Tool, and I'm doing it in random order, like, is it a band, is it a game? Tool, the band. What game is it gonna be? Hmm, Dwarf Fortress. Any of you ever played Dwarf Fortress on PC? Very hard game. Um, you would even say it's too deep for you. <laughs> it's all about these like dwarves uh, mining deep underground and then they get to the core and like oh shit they unleashed fucking hellfire and demons that's just like tool you know it's too deep you know you, you dig deeper and you unleash the fucking hellfire of the fanboys <laughs> who, will, who will roast your ass spit roast your ass next up system of a down um this one could be a load of games. I was thinking Katamari Damacy because that's just insane, but I'm going to go with Mario. I'm going to go with Mario. Do you know why I'm going to go with Mario? Do you know why it's perfect for System of a Down? Well, you have an Italian plumber, right, who uh, jumps on turtles, eats fire flowers and mushrooms, and ju fights giant turtles. What? That's literally a System of a Down song right there. That is literally a System of a Down song. Water jetpacks? Come on. They just jumble all those words together, and that's the new System of a Down single, so yeah, fuck it. Mario is System of a Down. Okay, next up we have Skyrim. Big ass game for big ass players. That was the cringiest thing Questy's ever done so far. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, uh, this, is what <laughs> this is what happens when Questy hasn't been in front of a camera for a while. He goes off on one. I love Skyrim. Everyone loves Skyrim. That's why it's still one of the most played games today. But what band would pair it with Skyrim? It's going to be a Monomorph. Come on, it's going to be a Monomorph. It has to be one of these Viking-style bands. Could have put Tyr here. Could have picked loads of fucking Viking bands. But Monomorph's the main one that comes to mind. All the songs about, like, destroying of the destroyer of the gods. Stuff like that. Guardians of Asgard. Asgard. Pretty much like Sovereign God. Even has Guard at the end of it. Guard. Um, the Alduin the World Eater? Come on. That's just like Fenrir. Like, all the parallels between Norse mythology and Skyrim. I know that's the point of it, but it could be a Monomorph. There's no other band, um, aside from the Viking-style bands, that it could be Skyrim. Definitely a Monomorph. And last but not least for this episode, anyway, I could do another one if you liked this one, is going to be the blue speedster himself. Gotta go fast! Sonic. Now, who's going to be Sonic? Before I get into who's going to be Sonic, who's seen Sonic 2? I saw it at the cinema, and it was great. I love the first one, the second one's great. Uh, I hope the third one's great as well. Random side note, but yeah, pretty good. Anyway, Sonic is going to be Dragon Force. Come on, it's it's Dragon Force. How Herman Lee plays is, is ridiculous. The whole band, super fast, super technical, super just, just wacky and colourful. Like Valley of the Damned, look at that album cover. Insane. Insane Dragon Force. It, it has to be. No one can play that fucking fast. No one can. And no one can run that fucking fast. So it pairs up beautifully. So that was a fun video pairing video games with metal bands. So what did you think of my list? Do you agree with any of them? Do you disagree? And do you want a part two? Do you want some more video games? You can put some ideas in the comments below. Some more games I've missed off because there's hundreds of games. I haven't done Minecraft, Fortnite. Like, what's going to pair with them? God, who knows? Let me know down below. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.